Hey gang, my name is Carl White. I'm your host here for the next 15, 20, 30 minutes. And you are listening to Loan Officer Freedom, number one podcast in the world today for loan officers. I'm sitting out here on the front porch of the secret headquarters here at the Mortgage Marketing Animals. And I am joined by one of my cohorts, partners in crime, Miss Kristen Simpson, the guru of gurus, the knowledge of all, the queen bee over here at the Marketing Animals. How are you doing, Kristen? I'm doing well. Cohort. Here we go with that word again. A cohort. I, I keep meaning to look that up. Like, well, if, 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 so if, if you're the cohort, I'm the hort, right? So whatever that means. Oh, hi, Carl. So, How are you doing? Good. Where, where, where do you, I, so I'm broadcasting here in the secret headquarters somewhere in an undisclosed location here in the Tampa Bay area. Where, 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 are, you, where are you at, Kristen? I am about 40 minutes outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What a great place to live. It is. It what is a great place to live. Hey, if you're uh, if you're wanting to know, uh, gosh, what do I do first? I get all these ideas. What I do first? You're at the right place because that's what we're going to talk about today. And I'm going to share one of my secret weapons that I've used uh, for a long, long time that uh, helps me decide what to do next. By the way, did I ever tell you about the first time I went to Philadelphia? No, I don't I might, think so. Might, might not share this with you. So, um, <clears throat> so I show up in Philadelphia. And just by chance, it's it's New Year's Day, right? So I went to New Year's Eve in New York, first time ever. Mm -hmm. And then I'm on my way home and stopped off in Philadelphia and uh, New Year's Day. And we saw there was a big parade and I went, huh, I'll sit and watch it. So I chanced upon the Mummers Parade. Oh boy. And for somebody that's <laughs> not familiar with the Mummers Parade, it's literally all day long. Like it it's- is. It's all day. It starts in the morning, ends at night. Like it's all day. Mm -hmm. And I kept asking, uh, going around asking, what's a mummer? And everybody would just laugh. You don't know what a mummer is? And they'd laugh. And it was like, whatever. But anyway, that was my first exposure to Philadelphia. And I absolutely fell in love with the place. So I love colorful people. Yes. And boy, that's, that's a colorful crowd. Right? Like they're uh, laughing because they don't know either. It's something. That, that come to, that, that's what I found out. <laughs> that's what I found out. Yeah. It's, it's it's like a made up night. Probably somebody was mumbling something or they couldn't speak coherently. Yeah. And uh who knows? Who knows? But anyway, love Philadelphia. Um do you know uh do you know who Hakeem Singleton is by chance? I have heard of Hakeem Singleton. Yeah. I've yeah, he's, listened to a few podcasts with him. Super, super great guy. Super great guy. He's in Philadelphia. Anytime I hear the word Philadelphia, I think of my brother Hakeem Singleton. Yeah. Great guy to hang he's out killing with. Killing it. He he is killing it. All right. So let's uh let's get into how do we pick what to do next? So I think the best way to do this is, is we'll give the formula and then we'll give some examples to use the formula. So okay. this will be a really good use of, uh, of for our listeners, really good use of your time. So so I call it the, I don't call it, this, this was taught to me. So um, I got this pretty good while ago. I can't, I, I'd love to give credit to who taught it to me. I can't remember. Anyway. So it's called ICE, ICE. And for our listeners, if you're, if you're able to, you're going to want to write those three letters down and you're going to write them down vertically, like the I and then beneath that, the C and then the beneath that, the E. And I stands for impact. Mm. C stands for certainty. E stands for ease or easy. And Chris, I know you know this thing. I'm just going to talk to you like you don't, though. So yeah, well, the, when would uh, I use when would I use ice? Okay, so you would use ice. Like I just came back from a conference. I just sat on a Zoom. I I just went to a mastermind meeting, um, and I've got three or four different things, or just one idea. I want to know should I do this idea? You know, I've got I, I need more loans, but it seems like I don't have time. Uh, and maybe it'd be actually be for things that I'm already doing, judging, do I keep doing these things? Oh, right? okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So I guess maybe, maybe that's the first thing I would do is evaluate what I'm currently doing and, and apply the ICE method to it. Okay. So how this works is, again, it's impact, certainty, and ease. And how it works is, first of all, I have to put, I have to take my proud hat off and put on my honest hat. Okay. Right. To myself. Right. Yeah. And, and I have to be just brutally honest with myself and no guilt. No, I should be, or I screw all that stuff. Right. And I rate, I grab a strategy and I rate each strategy on these three 
bullet points and I grade them on a scale of zero to 10. Okay. And seven's not an option. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. The old, the old seven, the seven's <laughs> like, well, I don't want to commit. So I'll do seven. No, yeah, no, no. We call that chicken something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chicken. We just chicken. Okay. Right? There we go. It is not chicken soup, right? Just chicken. <laughs> so yeah. So it's either an eight or a six, okay. right? So impact. What impact will this have on my business? Scale of zero to 10, 10 being off, off the, off the, you know, off the scale high, zero, virtually no impact. Like if I say, I'm thinking about changing my logo. Well, breaking news, nobody's going to do business with me or you because of our logo. So that would have zero. Okay. Might be fun, might be interesting. <laughs> I'm not saying not to do it, but not during work hours. That would be like, a, I'm sitting around Saturday doing the crossword puzzle. Oh, I think I'll work on my logo, right? Not gotcha. gonna have an impact, right? The, C, the, 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 the certainty, again, how certain am I that I'm gonna get the results from this? So, so this, this is gonna assume I'm never gonna be the first one ever to do anything. Right. I'm not going to sit there and blaze a new trail with a with a machete. I want to go down a well-worn path that's already proven. Right. I'll move a lot faster. Frankly, I, I want to get on an interstate and go 100 miles an hour, you know, figuratively speaking. I don't want to go foot by foot, step by step with my machete. Uh takes too long. I get bitten by mosquitoes and I and I might end up in a dead end anyway, dead end canyon. And I did all this work for nothing. So I'm going to do something that Chris and I already see you doing and you're having great success with it. Right. Uh, ease, how easy is this going to be? And, 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 and maybe, maybe for me, I, right, that's like you and me, Kristen. So we work together and we have different skill sets, right? right. Not, not, not better, not worse, not good, not bad, just different, right? Because we're different people. Of course, we're gonna have different skill set. And so for me, or let, let's say something, yeah, say something for me, I look at that and go, damn, that's gonna be hard. But you know what? Not for Kristen. Kristen's mm -hmm. got a knack for doing this thing. Right. Or and it might be vice versa. Chris, you might look at something and go, ah, I don't know. That that seems kind of hard. But you know, Carl likes doing that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Or, or or dying in the office. She loves doing that kind of stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's is how easy is it for somebody that's currently already under my roof? And if I'm the if I'm a one woman band or one man band, then how easy is it for me? And right. we have to again, so so zero would be freaking hard. Mm -hmm. Ten would be wet ice on wet ice, right? Like it's just as easy as pie. Simplest can be scale of zero to 10, seven is not an option mm -hmm. for something to move forward. It's got to rank an eight or higher on all three. Mm, okay. So in other words, I have to have, it has to have a high impact, uh, uh, like a, a nine impact, a eight certainty, and um, at least an eight, e pretty darn easy. Okay. Right. Awesome. So if something so going to tell us, is this a good use of our time? That's right. Okay. And so if it, cause I, you know, the easy one, if, if, if it's hard, and again, this is where it takes just complete honesty to sell. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably not going to finish it. Right. I'll, I'll start it. I'll be real enthusiastic and I'll go, yeah, I, I want to build a bridge across the Atlantic ocean to London. Right. And, and then I could just drive my car to London. It'd be really, but <laughs> it, that, that's not going to be easy. Yeah. Right. And, and I like working on easy stuff. Right. I, I, I do. I like, I like working on easy stuff. Or easy for me or easy for somebody on the team, right? And, and just because something hard doesn't mean you get better results. I find my best results, frankly, come from the easy stuff because I, I get the results and I do it more often because it's easy or at least easy for me or easy for you or easy for Diane or whoever. Because if something is a nine impact, nine certainty, but a six, we'll call it hard, um, I'm not going to do it, right? Just not going to do it. So, yeah. so let's, we'll uh, let's everything let's, else to do besides that. Yeah. I like, call like, all right, well, what else is, what else is there that is easy that, yeah. that does have a high impact and that does have certainty. Cause I saw you doing it. I saw, uh, Julie doing it. And, uh, so I'm sure if I do it the same way, I'll get the same results. Right. So it's not rocket science here. So let's, uh, let's, let's throw some things in there. So give me, give me, give me a strategy. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be near and dear to your heart. Open house. Open houses. All right, perfect. So well, I have a unique way of doing open houses. So let me let me just map that out here just for a second. So I'm not real big on actually going to open houses. A couple of reasons. <clears throat> and, and again, this is this is for me, right? This is not right. for you. This is not for the next person. This is just for me. 
Number one, it's on the weekends. I, I, I'm going to spend the time with my, the lovely Mrs. White on the weekends, right? So it's just, it's just the way it works in my house, right? I'm going to spend time with her. I'm going to spend time with my kids. Um, it's just the way it's going to work, right? And, um, and the other thing is, you know, again, just for my personality, I'm a bit of an introvert, which my friends, you know that, but, you know, a lot of people might find that a little surprising, but I'm, I'm a bit of an introvert. And so the idea of sitting in an open house and meeting strangers is just, for me, not for you, not for the next person, for me, I, I, I just don't like doing that. And it's also not scalable. Mm. I can only do one, maybe two of those a day. And then my whole Saturday's blown. And maybe one person comes in, maybe two, hell, maybe 22. I don't know. Right. Another way of doing that is I get a sign-in sheet. And I put on that sign-in sheet, put your name, phone number, and email here to enter in for a $25 Home, De Home Depot gift certificate, gift certificate card. I then call 10 agents that are doing open houses, tell them I'd like to sponsor it, run it through my compliance, make sure it's compliant, right? And so make sure, so I'm not a compliance officer, so check with your compliance officer. Uh, mine says it's okay, but that doesn't mean yours says it's okay, so make sure it's okay. Right. And then I call 10 agents that are having open houses, offer to sponsor it with this $25 gift certificate. The agent picks randomly, right? I tell them, hey, when you get it, you know, get your kid to put a blindfold on and stick a pencil mark beside one. That's the winner, right? But I, I let the agent do that part, right? I'll let them do that part. That way they make sure it's on the up and up and they don't think I'm not giving it away, right? So right. I drop off the uh, I drop off the, uh, the sign-in sheet, drop off the uh, gift certificate card on Friday, right? I meet with them on Friday, drop that off to the 10 agents. And then they have their open house on Saturday and Sunday. I got 10 different agents doing it on uh, either Saturday night, Sunday night, whatever. They, uh, they, they take a picture of it, filled out, and send it to me. And I tell them I'm going to follow up on their open houses on uh, Monday morning. And so not only is the agent going to follow up, I'm sure, Agent Kristen, as you follow up, oh, I'll yeah. also follow up on Monday, right? And we both know they're probably not going to follow up because they got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to help them follow up on their open houses. And now I've got 10 open houses, not one, right? So let's, let's rank that one. So, so before I do that, Kristen, I personally have done this open house. And I personally have closed, I don't know, can I say hundreds? A lot. So, I, I, you know, a lot. Hundreds? You know, probably actually. Yeah, I would say I'd say um, hundreds. You know, I'm a non-producing branch manager right now. Right. So uh, one of the largest branches in the nation. But when I was doing this, and some of my loan officers are doing this, when I was doing this, yeah, I probably did. I probably closed hundreds. So, Kristen, I closed a lot of loans doing this. And I've shared this with a guy named Jim Huggle. He also closed a lot of loans with this. Mm. So now, now you have that information that, hey, I know a couple people doing this. So what, what, what is the impact? On, you're, you're grading that on zero to 10 for you, Kristen. Now that you've heard I've had success, you've heard that Jim's had great success. Uh, what would you say the impact in that would be in your business? I think that would be pretty high. That would probably be somewhere in like a, an eight. I, okay, I like that. So I like that. So eight on impact. Certainty. How certain are you on the results that you'll get from that? Hmm. I would think that would be pretty high too. I mean, yeah, an eight. The open yeah. houses, especially right now, they're just well, and you showing up. You know, two people's doing it and getting yeah. the results. Yeah. So it's 80, like, 89? yeah, yeah. If, if, if I hit two plus two on a calculator and equals and four comes up, if you hit those same buttons and hit the equals, yeah, you're pretty darn certain four is going to come up. Right. So certainty would be real high. Now, if you just met somebody just, you know, just kind of getting the devil's advocate, if you just met somebody at a conference and you don't know them and they say they're doing it, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Right. But if you go, dude, I know Carl man's a man of integrity. If he tells me something, I can take it to the bank. I know Jim man of integrity, or I know Lori, lady of integrity, they're in my branch. I see them doing it. Yep. And I, I love copying what's working. My certainty goes pew, like real high, especially a trusted source, right? So we go impact, eight, you said, uh, certainty, eight, mm -hmm. ease. How, oh, how well, easy is this would be? The way you just laid it out, that's a 10 all day, the way it, you just it, laid it out. It, 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 it is, it's easy. The, yep. the hardest part, 
I don't know. And it's not even hard, you know, getting an agent, Hey, I'm, I'm going to give you a $25 gift certificate and I'm going to follow up on your leads for you. And you're <laughs> going to get more closings because of this, and some of those will be more listing because of it. You know, who would say no to that? Yeah. Right? The hardest part is going and buying the gift cards. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah. So I, so on an easy scale of one to 10 for you. Yeah. 10, 10. Perfect. So we have an eight, an eight and a 10. So do we move forward with this strategy? Oh yeah. Absolutely. So I'd put this one on my list for sure. Give me, give me another one. Um, radio show. Part, perfect. Radio show. So I've done a radio show. I didn't have great results with mine. Oh, let me rephrase that. I got, I got uh, on my radio show. I did it live local radio station here. Did it every Saturday morning. Did it for about, I don't know, three years, four years, two and a half years, somewhere around there Two, about three, say three years. I did it for three years. So long enough to have measurable results. For, for sure. Yep. Um, so I invited real estate agents to come on the show with me. And you know what? I got some deals off of that. I did for, with the real estate agents. You know, now that I know what I know, hell, if I'd have just had coffee with them, I probably would have gotten the same results. As far as listeners sending us loans on the radio show, I don't know if we did one. Mm. It was a small station. I don't know how much many people were yeah. actually listening to it, you know. Um, so that was my results. Now I tell you, a friend of mine, Jen, she does a radio show. She tells me she has pretty good results, mm. right? From, from the consumers, not, not the realtors, but from consumers, a little small town, middle of Ohio. Um, and she's a big deal up there, right? She's kind of, she's become a celebrity up there, uh, her you know, has. because of different things she's doing. So she's, so, man, it, for me, it was just a total zero for her. She, she actually, true story, you know, has done pretty well with it. So for you, impact score of zero to 10. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with six on that, maybe even five, just because there's mixed results. Yeah, I, 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 my results were a zero. She would say hers is probably a nine. So, you know, either a, I need to talk to a couple more people, or based upon the two that I have so far, I, I agree it'd be about a five. Certainty. Where would your certainty be? Oh, that would be really low. I would say that would be about a three. Yeah, because it's Could, certainly yeah. uncertain. Because I would say I'm a. I'm not, I'm not bragging or anything, but I, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm pretty good when I, when I do things, man, I, I, I don't do things halfway and I'm pretty good at getting results from stuff. And man, for me, it just didn't work. You know, my personality is different. I don't know. She's more charming, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a different area. I don't know, whatever. So, yeah. So I'd put that certainty on, on the low side. Uh, Jen would put it on the high side, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yeah. And easy. How easy is it to, to do a radio show? Uh, I, I would have to put that down real low too for me personally that is because i wouldn't even know where to start with any of that right it's not like yeah. i can just look up open houses so for me that would again be like a two or three i yeah, yeah that would take write a lot a of good... work to get it up and running for me and, and it is you got you got you got to write a check for it um yep. you know and, and not a small one mm -hmm. and um you got to show up to the station you got to record they're not flexible uh, i did mine uh as a recording because it, it went out saturday mornings mm -hmm. and so mine was a recorded show i'm not sure if jen's is or not but yeah, I would put, um, yeah, it wasn't the easiest thing, right? I mean, it would, yeah. So, so do we, uh, based on that information, again, this is not a recommendation for everybody because this is just our own assessment, right? Because somebody else might be listening to this go, oh, dude, I know I got five of my friends is doing it, knocking out of the park. So you might end up with a different score. It's a very personalized score. So for us, this is a low score. Do we go forward to it or not? No. I'm going to pick something. I, I agree with that. Let's, 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 let's pick one more. Pick, pick, uh, what's another one? Daily success plan. Perfect. So the daily success plan, uh, uh, if you're not familiar with it, if you're listening to the podcast first time, it's a four-part simple plan that we use to get more referrals. We get referrals from real estate agents. We get referrals from people we're currently closing loans with, the, the, bar, the borrower, the co-borrower, the listing agent, the buying agent. We get loans from the title company. We get loans from our past database using it. And we get loans from our pre-approved and looking we, the people that's out looking, instead of falling off the map, we forgot to follow up with them. We have a scripts that we use for, for a certain sequence. We get a very high conversion rate from those. So, yeah. um, so number one, uh, me and my team, we use a data success plan. We close hundreds of loans a month using this, uh, Julie Gleed, I'll pick on Julie here, Julie Gleed, a real person. Uh, she's been doing the data success plan. I think uh, she just started it in in January. She was closing. Uh, it, it, January is a hard month, right? Not not a reflection of her. Just it was a hard wow. month. So January, uh, you know, she she closed uh, zero. It was a hard month. 
she started, she implemented the data success plan. I think April, she closed six, I believe it was May eight. So we're talking like four, five months later, closing six to eight. Wow. Uh, Mary Lee, she's another one. Again, January, hard month, got zero, started doing the data success plan. February was four. March was five. April was 11. Wow. May was 10. And I think 11, I, I think uh, June, I think she just reported this morning on the breakfast club. I think she said, God, I think, I, I think it was 10 or like 10, 11. So for, mm -hmm. again, zero in January, five months later, closed 10. Right. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one more. Uh, uh, Sharon, Sharon Wolford, same oh, things. Uh, started the data success plan, March closed three, April 10, May 9, June 13. Wow. Right. So, and I could, we could, we could sit here for an hour and I could just start ripping off story after story, story. So very yeah. successful. So impact, data success plan, impact. 10. I, 100%. Not, yep. Nothing has ever worked for me better than the data success plan. And I've never, not once, seen it not work. No little asterisk. No, your results may vary. I've seen people quit. I've mm -hmm. seen people not do it. But somebody that did it and stuck with it, I have never seen it not work. Certainty. Ah, 20. Yeah, same 20? thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Off the chart. Absolutely. Literally thousands of loan officers doing it. Literally. And, it Literally. and having stories, you know, many of the stories going from three and now closing 13, right? So it's like perfect. Easy. Where hmm. do we put that? Easy. I'm going to say that's an eight or a nine, right? Some of those. Yeah, I get that. I mean, some I get, people you might know the scripts. Reluctance, they need the scripts. They did it. I, no. but, but still not, it's not, to your point, it's not tar and roofs. Yeah, it, it's it's a phone call. It's a phone call and reading a script. Yeah. So once you have the yeah. once you have the script, mm -hmm. and you know who to call, uh, which will give you that, by the way. So yes. We'll give you that. Uh, yeah, it's not when you know who to call and what to say, and we're talking about picking up a phone call. We're not talking about where well, you got to put up this funnel and there's 15 different steps to it. No, it's it's a call. Call this person. Read this script. Mm -hmm. Right. So all right, perfect. So we had a 10 impact, 10 certainty. And an at least an eight easy. Mm -hmm. So do we follow through with a data success plan? A hundred percent. hundred percent. And so that's what we look for in our business yeah. is we look for those things like what's what has high impact, mm -hmm. what is high certainty that I'm seeing many people doing it and 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 it's easy. Right. So uh so that's it. You know, that's it. So like uh oh, and by the way, I'll, I'll do a shameless plug here. If, if you go, well, gosh, what is the data success plan? If you just go to, oh, I don't know, this real clever website, dailysuccessplan.com, dailysuccessplan.com, uh, my dear friend, Frank Gray will kind of tell you what it is, and, um, and and we'll give it to you. Like, we'll give you, you'll schedule a 45-minute call. If they're real lucky, it'll be with you, Kristen. Right, Kristen, you do, you do a lot of those calls. I do. What you spend most of your day doing, most days. Yeah. Do. yep. And uh, so if they get lucky, they get you. And, uh, and you'll walk them through the data success plan, give them the scripts. They can do screenshots, map it out. Who do you call? Why do you call that person? How do you, how do you turn those into loans? Uh, and many of them, again, going from three to 10 to 13 loans, right? I mean, it's not, uh, the, the people that don't quit a hundred percent of them so far that I've seen, uh, have had results unless they quit. And then of course they don't get any results because they quit doing it. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I and even I, I was I like social media Well, you'd have to you'd have to break it down to what particular strategy in social media. I saw a thing and we, we, we had this on a, uh, I think we did a podcast on this. Uh, there was a, a famous uh, survey went out. How did you find your loan officer? Oh yeah. Little pie chart. And how you found your, how did I find my loan officer? Um, you know what, do you remember what the number was for social, what, what percentage of people that close a loan found their loan officer on social media. Do you remember the number by chance? 3%. That's right. 3%. Mm -hmm. That means that 97% didn't. Mm -hmm. So we go ease. Well, frankly, liking something on Facebook is pretty freaking easy. <laughs> yes. Right. Taking a picture of my dinner, pretty freaking easy. Right. Messaging you on Facebook. Hey, Kristen, how's it going? Pretty freaking easy. So I'd give that a 10. Mm -hmm. Right. Certainty. Where do we put that on certainty, Kristen? I don't think you can get of it any certainty at all. I, I agree because we're talking 3% on nationally. 
mm-hmm. that the how many people found their loan officer on on social media is three percent. Um, yeah, I, I put the certainty really low. Yeah, impact. Again, I think you got to put that low too. I I it's agree. So, it's like that swamp marketing that you always talk about, right? It's so watered down. You just don't know. Yeah, what I I, I, I agree. It, it makes me feel good, you right? Said. I go on there. Hey, I got I got thirty two likes. <laughs> you know, so it makes me, and that's the thing with social media. It makes us feel good. But if we go, yeah, but actually how many loans did I get from it? Um, it's like your bus stop benches. It's like a bus. Yeah. I, I spent a ton of money on bus stop benches and, and I got nothing. My friends had called me up. I don't know if I've shared this with you. My friends had called me up and, uh, <laughs> and they would say, Carl, I'm sitting on your face, even as we speak. <laughs> So what are you talking about? I'm at the, I'm, at, I'm sitting on a bus. Actually, I, I say bus stop bench. They were like park. We had bus stops and park benches. Park so, bench, yeah. you know, they'd be at the park bench. Carl, I'm sitting on your face right now. Yeah. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Right. I didn't get any, I felt important. I'd ride around town. I'd see my face and people at church would say, Hey, Carl, I saw your face today or this morning or yesterday. I didn't get any loans from it though. Made me feel good. Made me feel important. Probably pretty easy, but it was, it was real easy. Yeah. But the impact was like mm. zero. Like literally is probably zero for me. I don't know if I ever closed, like we had a unique phone number on, on the, on the benches. So when they call that number, we could track it. We got no phone calls. Yeah. I didn't, didn't, didn't do anything. So we have to understand that things that make us feel good doesn't necessarily mean it's actually moving the needle for us. So we have to get like brutal honesty on that. So, so that's the ice. I love that's it. Ice. Yeah. It's like, it's like an upgraded pros and cons list. Yeah, I never thought about that. That's exactly what it is. And it, and it just takes brutal honesty. Yeah. And it also means that somebody else is already doing it. Mm. And not just, well, I saw somebody on a Facebook group that said they're, you, you can't, quali- you, have to, you have to qualify. Got to be measurable results. From a real person having real results. Yeah. You know, like, like sometimes I'll, I'll, and I like those Facebook group pages, right? I do. I like, I like the groups and there's, there's some good people on there, but you know, I, I've, I've noticed uh, if you ever grab one of those services where you can look up somebody's production and you look up the production of the noisiest people, a lot of times they, the reason why they're on the, they're either on, they're on there so much is they, they don't have anything going on in their business and then they got nothing but time. That's not true for all of them, right? right? There's some really good high producers on there too. But yeah, before I listen to anybody's advice, first thing I do is I go look to see what their production was. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and then and then then I'll listen to, you know, then then I'll then I'll rank the, the activities they're doing, which by the way, I think I gosh, and this is just off the top of my head, my number might be wrong. I think we gosh, what was it? I think we're at I almost hate to say it because I don't want to be wrong, but I think it was uh 363 loans this month uh, that my team did. Wow. That's not a bad number. Right. Okay. So, so it's enough closings that we can evaluate what's everybody doing. And, and it helps us with our eyes, you know, cause we can have the impact and the certainty and then the ease might be easy for Bob, but hard for me, or maybe, you know, easy for Bob and or, or hard for Bob and easy for me. So anyway. So if I'm toying around with something and I'm trying to decide whether this is a good idea for my business or not, just put it through the ice method. Ice it. Yeah. Ice baby ice. Possible. I, what is my certainty of my results and how easy is this for me That's to it. do? Love it. it. Oh, cool. Hey, if you, if you want us to help you, uh, number one, if you want to map out the daily success plan, or if you want Mr. Guru, Mrs. Guru herself, the queen bee of all, uh, to help you look at some of the different strategies and with an honest opinion, you know, a second opinion yes. that doesn't have any skin in the game, right? You, you got no dog in the hunt. You'll give, you'll right. give honest answers because you got no dog in the hunt. Uh, just go to dailysuccessplan.com, dailysuccessplan.com, and Kristen, uh, you can help them out with that. So uh, we cover this okay? I think this is great. I, I think it was great too. Kristen, I thank you so much for everything you do. I've learned so much from you. And uh, man, you're just a class act and uh, you're a really good person to bounce. I love bouncing ideas off of you. You come up with a lot of great stuff. And, oh, uh, oh, which by the way, I, we're, we're, we don't have time to go into it now. That little trick you showed me on Zoom is a game changer. <laughs> it's an awesome. absolute game changer. If you're doing Zoom calls, make sure you get on davisuccessplan.com and uh, ask Kristen to share the, uh, the 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 Zoom technique. That was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, I would. It was. It's a whole source of business would have never have thought about doing. And and like like we're already doing some Zoom meetings, 
And it's that special little thing you added to it. It was an absolute game changer. I absolutely love it. So that's how we call that a teaser in the business, right? We call <laughs> it a teaser. So yeah. data, data success plan.com. That was pretty cool. Really slick. By the way, how did you, did you, did you hear about that? Did you read about that? Did you stumble upon it on your own? How'd you find out about that? No, I just thought about it and it came to me and I thought, I wonder if, and I played around with it and it really wasn't that hard to do. So. Yeah. I, I put impact nine. <laughs> certainty 10 ease like super easy so <laughs> 11 <laughs> kill it yeah killer idea so all right i think that's it so thank you chris and i appreciate you my friend oh, thank you carl have a good day hey for those of you listening uh, uh uh we uh three two favors we'd like to ask you number one for this podcast to three of your best friends your loan officer friends they'll thank you for it and i promise you i'll thank you for it too uh number two uh we love reviews it helps get the word out so uh, whatever, uh, wherever you're watching this, um, I just got a text in. I'm sorry. Spotify, okay. iTunes, wherever you're okay. watching. Let me, let me do that. So whoever's editing, whoever's editing this, I'm going to do that. Part, <laughs> yeah. So whatever platform you're watching this on, if you just give us a review, an honest review, uh, we really appreciate it. It helps us on the ratings. And we'll also send you, uh, we'll do an ethical bribe and send you a, uh, a mortgage marketing animals, Yeti style cup uh, that we'll send to you and uh, we'll even pay for the shipping it's a pretty pretty cool little cup and all you got to do is just uh just give us a review take a picture of it email it to support at the marketing animals.com support at the marketing animals.com and we'll send you uh, a free mug uh no matter what the review is we're just looking for honest reviews so uh do we give them too much to do so forward to your friends <laughs> leave a review set up a and call a with Kristen. Mug. And get a get mugged get mugged, <laughs> get mugged. Get mugged. <laughs> and set up a uh, set up a call with uh, Christian to map out the daily success plan and find out this super cool little zoom thing she's doing at dailysuccessplan.com thanks a lot and we'll talk to you when you call in bye bye everybody bye bye <laughs>